Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the best practice series with UiPath. And today we are going to talk about the cleanup of the environments. Assuming that I am writing an automation where I have to deal with a browser, a notepad or any other application. Now, whenever I start my automation, I want to make sure that the environment should be clean. Which means that if I am going to interact with an Edge browser, the Edge browser should not be busy doing something else or it might not be in a state where it is not usable. If I want to do something on the notepad, I need to make sure that yes, the notepad is accessible. So as a developer, it is your responsibility to make sure that both before and after you make the environment clean. When I say before, it means that I need to make sure that all the applications which my automation is going to use should be in a available state. And when I say after, it simply means that all the applications which I have utilized in my automation, it is my responsibility to make and close them properly. Okay. This same thing is implemented very well in the robotics enterprise framework. So in case if you are building any project with robotics enterprise framework, you will understand this thing, right? This is a blank robotics enterprise framework in front of me, right? So if I go to the initialization, you would notice that I'll just double click this, right? Robotics Enterprise Framework has this XAML which is called killallprocess.xaml which means that you want to assure that the execution starts in a clean state, right? And in this one, we are expected to use the kill process activity to kill the applications from the task manager, right? So this is what refers to cleaning of the environment before execution, right? So in case if you are not using RE framework, you need to have a mechanism where you are cleaning up your environment. In the same robotics enterprise framework, initialization was the place which happens before, right? Where you come and before starting the automation, you clean the environment. There is one more state which is called end process, right? Which execute in case you have any got some system exception or you have completely done the automation, everything is perfect, right? So at the end, you want to come to end process, right? Now in the end process, what you would notice that you have this thing which is called close all application. Now close all application simply means close all the applications which you have opened, right? And here we simply use the graceful close. Now, what is a graceful close? For example, I have this notepad application available in front of me, right? One way of closing this notepad is to go here and click on this close button, right? The other way is just go to the task manager and kill the notepad exe from this, right? So the one which I am doing from here is called a soft kill and the one which I do from the task manager is directly a hard kill, right? So first what RE framework suggests us that you go and you clean the environment using the soft close, right? Just go here, try to click on this button, close this, right? In case you are coming from a browser, try to close the tab, then close the browser, right? But what happens if you get exception while doing the soft kill, right? In that case, you would notice that this XAML is again encapsulated in a try catch block where any exception is uh, taken care here. It goes to the exceptions and here you simply are invoking the XAML, which is framework kill all process. And what is kill all process? This is the same place where we killed and clean everything at the beginning, right? So that means that in case I am using the robotics enterprise framework, this thing of cleaning up the environment is already taken care by the robotics enterprise framework for me, right? So as a developer, in case you are not using our robotics enterprise framework, you need to make sure that you implement this functionality. And in case you are using RE framework, you need to ensure that you use this thing very precisely okay today we talked about two additional thing one is the robotics enterprise framework and the other is the try catch exception handling 
in case you guys are beginner and you do not understand the re framework and exception handling we have covered both these topics in both hindi as well as english language the link to the playlist are available in the descriptions thank you for watching and happy automation